I'm Tracy Reeder. I train out of Trinity Martial Arts in Pryor, Oklahoma, and Clinch Martial Arts in Owasso. Markel Maduros in uh, Factory X MMA. Uh, man, I grew up wrestling. Uh, started since I was four. Dad showed me the UFC whenever I was seven years old, and uh, that's what it, that's what it was for me. That's what I was going to be a, a fighter. A long road, a long road. I started at Factory X in open classes, um, and then built my way up all the way where we're at now. I was supposed to fight three back-to-back -back months with Fury. Those fell out, but now we're here. Man, uh, every session is martial arts. Uh, not a lot of, not, not, nothing else, you know, standing, striking, um, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. I mean, I'm, I'm a very well-versed martial artist. I'm good wherever, comfortable wherever, and trained wherever. I don't know. I feel like our gym is a little bit different than most gyms. Like, we literally train every day. Most of the times, two or three times a day. It's really cool. I'm honored to uh, be the main event and uh, put on a show for the people of Kansas City. And I'm even more excited to get back to Oklahoma after this. This is my first main event, uh, pro for sure. So uh, I'm here to, here to make a statement. I feel great. I feel like I match up great. I feel like there's not a body at 155 that I don't match up great with. And I feel like that I'm a poor matchup for all of them. I feel like I match up great against them. Man, I honestly think that I finish it in the first round but I'm not married to going out there and sprinting, trying to get it done in the first round. Um, finish, for sure, it doesn't go all three. In the first, early second, me, me finish. And now, our FSE main event. Walking out first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tracy Reeder. Tracy Reeder, the pride of Claremore, Oklahoma. Coming to the cage tonight, five and one out of Trinity Mixed Martial Arts. Started off five and oh, uh, all, all finishes, three knockouts, two subs, uh, a, a southpaw with big power and incredible wrestling. Um, it just gr can't say enough about the ground and pound that comes out of this guy, but you know, his, he was coming off, off of a, a, another weird fight uh, where he was dominating, dominating the first seven and a half minutes of that fight and just slowly ran out of steam before getting finished. So I, I, I don't know if it's a gas tank issue or, um, you know, dump in the tank, wh whatever it may be. He just kind of ran out of steam and ended up getting finished uh, in, in his last outing. Uh, I'm really interested to see uh, how he comes back off of something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of like we saw in the Nick Mech fight, had to get gassed out in the third. Whether you want to call it cardio, a mental lapse, if it's a mental issue, is it both? Is it, hey, when I get tired, I, I just want to stop? Is that something you can correct by doing more cardio? Is that something you can correct with uh, a, a different mindset? Who knows? Regardless, this kid has the right mindset. You know, he's confident himself. He, he thinks he can compete in the UFC right now. And, and at 23 years old, you, that, that's the type of mindset you want to have. Uh, the, the mental aspect of the sport's huge, especially at a high level. Everyone's good at the high level. It's really how they, they think about fighting as a whole that changes uh, and really makes them different from the, the rest of the pack. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Markel. Maderos. Markel Maderos, the Factory X Muay Thai prospect out of Denver, Colorado by way of Dallas, Texas. Uh, a, a short notice replacement tonight, stepping up um, on less than two weeks notice for the injured Marshall Kim. And uh, this, this is one of the most exciting fighters uh, I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, he's one of those guys who just uh, truly enjoys the, the aspect of fighting, right? Whether he's striking, whether he's grappling, he's a guy who's just excited to be in there. You're going to see him laughing and smiling. Uh, it, Watching tape leading up to this fight, I, I saw an exchange where he ate one of the cleanest shots I've ever seen, got shot on, reversed, and ended up in the guy's closed guard, looks up at the camera and just starts laughing. You know, like, this is a guy who just truly loves being in a firefight. And that's important, is, is loving what you do. 
and, and have, having that passion about the sport and, and being okay with going through some hard times and, and smiling afterwards. And you know, he's a good company. Here he has UFC vet Yusuf Zalal and, and UFC fighter Cody Brundage in his corner. And, and coming from Factory X under coach Mark Montoya, who has amazing striking and his, his clinch series and his game is so nasty. You can see where a lot of his striking comes from, where a lot of those knockouts come from. And, and I preach about his knockout power and his stand-up, but at the same time, he's very well-rounded. You know, we talked about reversing that, that, that takedown attempt and smiling afterwards after getting hit with the big shot, reversing it. He's good everywhere, two really well-rounded fighters. This is, this is the main event for a reason. I'm excited to see who comes out with their hand raised. Uh, absolutely, you know, relentless, relentless pressure expected from both gentlemen as we go to our Milagro tail of the tape in our main event of the evening. Three-year age advantage for Markel Medeiros as well as a slight height advantage for Tracy Reeder. Tonight's FAC main event is brought to you by Mil Milagro Tequila. Welcome to the brighter side of tequila with Milagro. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tracy Reeder. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Markel Maderos. Oh baby, let's go. First fight outside of the Fury FC banner for Markel Medeiros as a pro. Interested to see how uh, traveling into hostile territory affects him. It opens up with a calf kick. We saw the effect of that in the last fight. How, how that can really change the, the complete game of, of, of someone's stand up as he goes for another calf kick and he switches to the opposite stance to land him. You know, if, if, if I have to say one nitpicking thing about... Uh, Big right hand lands down the pipe for, for Medeiros. It, it, just, just like I was getting ready to say, you know, the one, one thing I, I see is Medeiros opens his elbows really wide uh, a lot of times w when he's in range. He brings his hands up to his face, but he opens his elbows really wide and leaves himself open to those big body shots like we just saw. And his distance control is really nice. Uh, he, 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 he does a really good job of something I stole from you, uh, disrespecting his opponent's range. Yeah. You know, I, I heard you say that a few times, and I think that's one of my favorite things uh, ever. And he's chewing up inside and outside of the leg. Whenever he switches lefty to close the stance, he'll chew the outside. Whenever he's in his home stance of orthodox, he'll, he'll, he'll chew the inside. Yeah, almost using it as a jab. You see a lot of these Factory X, you know, fighters using that leg kick, the inside leg kick, at such a, a different range than most people as well. And, and, and Yusuf Zalal has a very distinct voice here in the corner as I hear him, but I can't help but think, but Madero's kind of fights like Yusuf, the, the slickness, the chewing the leg inside and out. And, and again, trying to change the scenery, scenery here is Reed as he's in on a double leg. He, he wasn't doing the, the best striking, you know, wasn't able to land any really big shots, and, and I felt like all the offense was coming from the other side, so. He's in here on a takedown. But even just threatening this choke is gonna is gonna make is gonna make the stand up a little easier, right? If I can threaten the the, the, the takedown, even if I don't get it, faint it, and then it's gonna make the striking easier. If I can put that in your head, like, hey, I might be shooting on you. Thank you. Lift up, lift up, head up. Beautiful defense Big by Medeiros. Big the body from Tracy Reader. Beautiful there. defense by Medeiros to stop the takedown, turn things, land an elbow on the break. And that is disheartening. That is disheartening for Reader. If, hey, I'm getting picked apart on the feet, let me try to take him down. Oh, I was in deep and I couldn't take him down. Okay, what do I do now? But don't count out Reader here. He's, he's game, you know. He has the right mindset. He's not gonna be put off by a, a little adversity here in this first round. Yeah, he's no, no stranger to adversity at all. I mean, 23 years old, six pro fights. I think he had 12 as an amateur. I mean, it, and plenty of fight to be had yet, uh, to be had. As I say that, another calf kick visibly affects Reader and forces him to change his stance. And look at look at those small angles created by, by Medeiros. Uh, I'm not a big fan of crossing your feet 
unless you're doing it with the intention to cross your feet, you know? Like, I, I don't like to talk in absolutes, like, never do this, never do that. But, you know, if you're feeling yourself, th there's a time and place for everything. And, and Maderos, you can tell, is just swagging out, out there right now and having fun. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's ever been a point in time Markel Maderos has been in the cage where he hasn't been feeling himself. And just his sense of range is incredible. I can't help but, you know, maybe because he's here in his corner, but Zalal fights very similar, just very slick, you know, nothing's loaded up, it's just popping. He unloads the shoulder, pops it out. Like that right hand, that right hand came from an unloaded shoulder, so it's almost like your jab. If I unload my shoulder and bring it out in front of my lead shoulder, now my rear shoulder is my lead shoulder, and it's like a jab instead of a cross. Very slick stuff by Madero's here. I think you might have just overloaded a few people at home with all that. Yeah, sorry guys, uh, I'm, uh, I'm nerding out about Madero's striking no, no. right now. Oh, big right or left hand glances off the chin of Markel and, Madero's. And if you're a reader, you need more of that. You need to change the momentum, because right now the momentum's all one-way traffic for Madero's. What? Landing a big shot like that can change it. You just need more of that. Mar Markel Medeiros is doing just such a good job freezing Tracy with his movement. You know, like, you can overwhelm and overload someone's central nervous system just by the movement. You see it a lot with guys like Alexander Volkanovsky. No matter what, constantly switching stances, constantly putting something out in your face and forcing you to react to more Big shots left than you hand. can handle. It seemed, seemed to have uh, bothered Medeiros a little bit. You saw his knees buckle for a second. But even this, the, the subtle checks that... that Read, read, readers giving uh, to nothing, to, to just a faint. Big right hand lands on the chin by Medeiros. But just the subtle feints are causing Reader to react. He picks his leg up when there's, there's a kick that he thinks is there, but it's not, you know. He swat and flies. Uh, that's, that's something I, I would say a lot when I was coaching, is like, you want to make the guy swat flies. Big kick punch at the end there. Great first round for Markel Medeiros. Uh, uh, other than a few of those left hands landed, not a lot of adversity faced. Here in the replay, we see Medeiros land that calf kick over and over again. And, and Reeder not really having a reaction to it. Once again, another calf, calf kick moves his head off center line. That's very important. If you're not going to use your hands to set it up, you're going to throw a naked kick, you better move your head off center line. Another calf kick, this time to Reeder's uh, left leg because he switched his stance because of the pain he was getting from his right leg getting chewed up. There, uh, Maderos catches a kick, tries to uh, sweep him off his feet by kicking the, the, the posting leg to no avail. You could see the confusion on, on, on Reader's face towards the end of the round, like, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, like, and and it's, it's on his corner to, to tell him what to do. It's like, hey, this isn't working. Shy away from this and start doing this. And it might be the answer, it might not. But, you know, trying different things, ne never stopping trying to win. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the William Knight fight. He stopped trying to win very early on, and you never want to see that from your fighter. If something's not working, keep trying something different until it works. A little more feints out of Tracy Reeder this round early. A little bit just more movement in general. You know, he, he seemed to just be laterally side to side earlier, or, you know, throughout most of that first round. Shoots, it, shoots an open mat double. Yeah. Couldn't find his range. I'd like to see him set that up a little better. Yeah, it almost seemed like a desperation shot. Yeah, there's there's a swelling and the bruising on that right calf. Forcing Reader to sh change the stance, and, but he gets his leg chewed up from the other stance as well. So it's like, what do you do? Do you just fight with no stance with your legs up in the air? And he just he's, he's having a hard time finding what to do. And you know, especially someone who's such a strong wrestler and relies on those big double entries, you know, taking out those legs early is really gonna stop anything that Tracy has, you know, in the grappling prowess as far as takedowns uh -huh. later in the fight. 100%, and there's definitely a, a big speed advantage for Madero's regardless of, of the low kicks or not. And we're seeing him land because of it. Everything coming from the, the side of Reader it, it is a bit slower and it's easy for Madero's to move out the way. And, and, and that's, I think that's a big part of why the, the overwhelming of the movement works so much better in a situation like this, is when you have the speed advantage, 
Sometimes you thought you saw a feint and you just ate a jab and you don't even know yet. Like th that right there, we just saw Madero's glance down at the leg and cause a reaction. Just simply him moving his eyes to the leg, looks back up, throws a one-two. That, that, that's just slick stuff there. That's high level striking. You see the, here the corner yelling, don't crash, don't crash, just keep it distance and touch. If you're a reader and getting chewed apart on the outside like this, Get up in his face. Even if you're getting hit when you're up in his face, at least you're able to hit him back. Right. Because right now there's no avail to what he's doing. That there's there's no there's very low success coming Ooh. from from Rita there. I like that. Faint the knee. You know, there's a lot of level changing combos. Madero's is throwing. Put the knee up. Yeah, because we're, we're we're halfway through our second round here, and you know, at, at some point you you got to throw caution to the wind as we start to lose time in these rounds here. Yeah, if, if you're losing the striking exchange, you're losing the, the grappling exchanges, at some point, you just got to try and make it a fight. Yeah, yeah. It's not going well right now. Halfway through the fight, two minutes and 30 seconds in, the second round. Let's, let's, let's do something to try to win this because you know, this isn't working right now. Th this is where you see guys like Darren Elkins start to thrive where, you know, hey, we're, we're halfway through the fight now. Whoever's a better fighter is going to be really showing through not who the better athlete is 100 percent a time we've seen it so many times the better fighter doesn't always win in these fights you know uh so there's no i'm not questioning reader's toughness at all as we see an, a, a slick spinning back kick from madero's laying on the solar plexus of reader i'm not questioning his toughness at all it's just i want to see that dog come out in him like all right i'm gonna get up in your face and if you're gonna hit me i'm gonna hit you back right because you know, we've we've that's all we've seen from him forever is Nothing but that dog. And as Medeiros lets the dog off the leash himself, a big one, too, stuns Tracy Reeder. And Medeiros is doing a great job of, of seeing what's open. He's like, okay, this spinning, uh, not sorry, he's not spinning, uh, this lead uppercut to a cross is open so I can split his guard, pick the chin up, knock it down with the cross. We're just seeing an, an, an incredible showing uh, from, from Medeiros right now. Yeah, you know, and... Yusuf Zalal in the corner keeps saying, don't crash, don't crash. Just keep taking what's available to you, you know? And, and what he means by don't crash, like, don't don't make it to where you can get hit back. That's that's what Reader wants. That's his one chance is to make this ugly, kind of like we've been preaching for Reader to, to do. They want to avoid that. They're doing such a good job of just picking him apart. Why, why make it? Why even give him the chance by uh, getting so close that you're creating that crash? bit of low in the action here as yeah, both gentlemen just throwing feints. Reader feints back. If you're going to get a reaction from a feint, use it next time. And, you know, it, it, looked, it looked like he got yeah. the reaction he wanted to, but now those leg kicks are paying dividends. Big calf kick, sits Reader down, finds himself in this, this butterfly guard. 15 as Madero passes left. over, Reader looking to scramble back up. Big knee. Stumbles, reader at the end of this round. Grab my cat. Grab your, oh, cat. Cut seems to have opened up on, on the on the nose of a reader there by that last knee. Cruising into round number three here, of our main event of the evening. Here we see Maderos swagging out, crossing his legs. Some old school boxing stuff when, when you know you feel so comfortable and confident that this guy can't touch you that you start mixing it up and creating these illusions of your legs. Here, here we saw Reader shoot from uh, from the stands with that double leg, easily defended by Maderos. That calf kick. Uh, he he times he, he kind of pawed at the jab, kind of parried the jab to land the calf kick, realizing that all his weight was on that lead leg from just throwing that jab. Here's that up cross I mentioned earlier. Just finding his openings. Yeah, you know, Good jab, lands by Reader, but then that calf kick sits him down. Madero says, hey, take a seat. Yeah, your other leg's had enough. This one will too. Sit down real quick. He said, swagging out, feeling the confidence. Uh, man, that, it, that's just how he fights. I, I don't think he's ever stepped in there feeling like anyone across the cage can touch what he's got out there. I love it. You know, that, that's your goal in fights is to, to, to make it seem like you're in the matrix. You, you want to feel like that. You want to feel that confident. You want to feel like you, like the stuff you do in the gym. And, and it's difficult to do that. Sometimes, uh, you know, I've, I've watched fights in Madero's to where he hasn't looked like this. And, and it, not necessarily because of the, its opponent dependent, but because he wasn't this comfortable. 
it, it is difficult to find this level of comfortability, and that just comes from experience, fight experience, and training experience. Heavy on the kicks already in this first 35 seconds. Good hips by Medeiros. That, that shot was actually a, a good attempt. He, he was in, tried to run it uh, almost cross sides like GSP style, but good hips shown by Medeiros, matches the angle, finds himself back up on the feet. And that's one thing I was going to mention, is I would love to see more body work from Medeiros in between rounds. That's what I thought I had. And here we see Medeiros go into the body, teep into the body. And that helps set up these head strikes that we see now. Just a one, two, one, every shot finding its home. Nice little double leg attempt just to elicit the peek out to the back. Beautiful change of levels. To, to find, to find the, an attempt to a takedown, then work to the back as we see him here. His grappling coach in the corner, Cody Brun, Brundage, telling him to switch his hips and get his back to the cage. Start to dig that far side underhook. Small fence grab by Madero's there. You know, as, as long as you're not poking eyes and a groin hey, shot and gl the glove pull and the fence grabs, that's all speeding on the highway, right? You know, it, it, it's, it's almost inevitable. Yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, fighter B doesn't want to get taken down, but there's rules for a reason. Small fence grab is different from a blatant one that prevents a takedown. That one was uh, inexcusable, I think. Big <laughs> shot landed. Oh. Or sorry, I meant excusable. Like, it wasn't that bad. Um, you know, but we've seen takedowns prevent or sorry, fence grabs prevent takedowns, and I think at that point it does justify a beautiful Ooh. pull across. It does justify either a point deduction or sitting them on their butt. That left hand has found its home all of round number three and, for Markel Medeiros. And Markel's using it as a dart. He darts through and creates a different angle. So he'll dart as he snaps your head back, and now he's to the left of you. And then you look towards your left, and now you're getting punched in the face again. Yeah, or, 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 almost like TJ Dillashaw-esque. Exactly. Uh, I believe the Ludwig system calls that a sprint. Sprint crosses. Big elbow. Another, give another one right and, and this is Mark Montoya-esque, right? Realizing your weapons from, from this clinch. When you're in the clinch, your weapons are knees and elbows. You shouldn't be trying to punch or kick. This is the range you want to do or use. Referee close to stepping in here. As he goes down, that's going to be it. Holy TKO cow. finish for Markel Madero's in a very impressive performance. Pitched a shutout here tonight over a tough, tough reader. Just, I mean, just kept going back to the well. And everything he seemed to do tonight found its home. Markel Medeiros closing the show on Tracy Reeder and our main event here at FAC 18. Man, the Factory X prospect is just that, an absolute prospect, a diamond in the rough. And I think these guys might have one here. Very bright future for Markel Medeiros. We saw a lot of the stuff that Factory X employs with their fighters. Mark Montoya runs a very tight ship and, and the stuff they show, we can tell it, it, it works, not only does it work, but when their fighters implement it, it causes these type of fights where it's one-way traffic, beautiful display of striking, takedown defense, and just over, overall game by Markel Medeiros. Look at those, I've been told the way to he was almost Tyson-esque, shuffling his feet to create different angles on these uppercuts and hooks for the finish. Very, very clean performance. All props to Tracy Reeder, except in the short notice opponent change. Yeah, Tracy Reeder is, is as tough as they come. He took a lot of punishment here tonight and stuck in there as long as he could, but it was just relentless uh, attacks for from from Markel Medeiros, and even, you know, we see Tracy here having a hard time standing right now from, from both legs kind of being chewed up as his legs buckled. Eight seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes. Out of the red corner, Markel Medeiros. Markel Med 
Markel Medeiros in our Milagro winner circle to close out the show here at FAC 18. That does it here for us in the broadcast booth at the Cable Dahmer Arena. 